I'm blowing the charges on three, by the way. And, uh, okay. three, two, one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Everybody gangsted till Karen started militia. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I have plenty of claymores. Yeah! Uh, all right, bump a car's time. Bump, bump a car's time. Yes! <laughs> I'm just saying, I want her to shoot me. World War Z. If you've ever wanted to see me and the boys survive a zombie apocalypse, today is your lucky day. Hold my beer. For the grace of the might of our Lord. Dance to the beat, wave your hands together. For the hope of the holy. Computer heat forever and forever. For the faith of the way of the soul. <laughs> You're, you guys have the intellect of a fucking seal bouncing a ball off its nose. Excellent. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> and now that we've successfully out pizza the hut in the last video, out pizza the hut, Bunko. That's Are you fucking insane? Out pizza the fuck? <laughs> Nani the pizza? Are you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank World War Z for sponsoring this video. The Game of the Year edition is now available featuring brand new weapons, characters, horde mode, and a three mission episode in the French city of Marseille. Because if there's anything I love, it's invading France. France during a war. France during a revolution. It's French people in a war. It's like Hello Kitty. French people killing other French people. It's like the Expendables. <laughs> You can pick it up as a standalone version if you're a new player, or as a paid expansion if you already have the game on PC. Console players can buy it as a DLC, and the Game of the Year edition is included in the Season Pass. All the info is down below. I recommend you check it out, and in case you do pick it up because you want to exterminate hordes of zombies as your Japanese operator waifu, waifu with a raifu that's ready to take your laifu, be sure to use my Epic Games supporter creator code at checkout. I'm not trying to be pushy or anything, but I do make money from it, so throw some bread at your boy. <laughs> Rocket launcher goes boom. <laughs> <laughs> With all that out of the way, World War Z. A game hallmarked by massive scale, and we ain't talking run of the mill massive. We're talking. Oh my, oh my God. lord. You have alerted the horde. You know, I was going to ask if that chicken sandwich is all that tasty, but I think this turnout speaks for itself. How many zombies would you like the game to render at once? Yes. And as much as I want to tell you the backstory of how these hordes came to be. Yo! <laughs> Infection, no cure! Yo! <laughs> They're zombies. Come on. The story is not only obvious, but me explaining it to you would be insulting to your intelligence. So make up whatever plot you want. Yep. Yeah, thanks for ruining this stuff. <laughs> what did you just say, Mickey? The backstory of this game is that they made Arizona one dollar and one cent. I'm losing my fucking mind here. <laughs> what do you mean it's not 99 cents anymore? First question you gotta answer, where do you want to fight the zombies? New York, because of course, New York. Jerusalem. If you want to start your crusade 800 years too late. We shall uh, retake uh, Jerusalem. Deus Volt. So if you die in the games, what happens? You go to hell, you fucking heretic. What do you think of? Moscow if you want to freeze your nuts off. Tokyo if you want to slap somebody's shit in Bushido armor. And Marseille if you want to fight zombies entirely fueled by bread. Heavenly's like, oh, where are we going? Marcelli? Oui, oui, baguette. J'ai mangé le poids. It means I eat the pear in <laughs> Picking an episode location will direct which characters you can play, like New York and the chillest human being on planet Earth, Angel Flores. If anybody tries to take Angel Flores from me, I am literally going to kill you. I could lift you above my head with a single finger. Shut the fuck up. Angel fucking Flores. <laughs> with a big iron. With a big iron and no trigger discipline whatsoever. What in God's name is a safety? Unless you're playing Horde mode which is my favorite, that doesn't restrict characters at all, so you can insta-lock your milsim operator waifu, Kamiko, to exterminate wave after wave of infected zombie scum. I'm just saying, I want her to shoot me. Damn, bro, I wish I was that gun. I wish I was the target. <laughs> <laughs> And she has the ultimate boomer phrase, slow is smooth and smooth is fast on the back of herself, double sleeved up on a Tuesday afternoon. I'll stop with the skins and the characters, because at the end of the day, they're fucking polygons, dude! Let's get back to killing infected idiots by picking a class. You've got six different ones to choose from, and any character can play any class. Real shit, you can make Angel Flores into the most lovable support medic on what's left of planet Earth, or make little wafer-thin Kamiko no into a berserk melee tank slasher. Vroom, 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 vroom. In order of personal interest, Gunslinger is basically Gun the class, Medic is a junkie that occasionally heals you, Fixer is explodey bullet and or masking grenade get out of jail free card guy, Exterminator is a pyromaniac, and Slasher is... 
Well, you already know, Slash. Vroom, vroom. Hellraiser is the only class to exist in my eyes, because with C4 and an M32, what the hell did you think I was gonna pick? It's tonight, it's time. <laughs> I love how you don't even see- you don't even see the explosion, you see the body's <laughs> bouncy castle. Oh, oh good! These dudes God. right here, you ready? Boom, 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 oh my God! The classes are not nearly as distinct as you'd expect. Every one can do everything fairly well, but choosing a certain class makes you god tier at that thing. Medics can slay like anybody else, they're just especially jacked at healing. Gunslingers can heal like anybody else, they're just especially adept at damage per second. Like an MG5 is good, an MG5 in the hands of a gunslinger is nightmare. You cowards don't even fire full metal jack and explosive incendiary hollow point tracer. Conveniently, leading me into the bread and butter of this video, the weapons. I won't talk your ear off with every single one. Oh, you like guns? Okay. Name every gun. Name every firearm to ever exist. Oh, you like trains? Name every train, and it's just every <laughs> single train. <laughs> But the game has a top-notch arsenal for a zombie title. Like, if you can play 20 hours and tell me there isn't at least one weapon that scratches your meat sack exterminating itch, I'm calling you a liar and shooting you with an explosive crossbow. Well, if I stick you with this, will you run at the zombies? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. All right, stand still. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> Just have him as like hey, a, let me, let me heal first. Let me a heal backboard. First. I'm not done healing! <laughs> You'll start the game with your unique gadget, a decent primary, and a decent secondary, which for me always meant the Mossberg 500 and a 1911. But I used a perk to give me the Spaz 12 so I could cosplay the Terminator. The Uzi 9mm, the 12 gauge autoloader, the 45 long slide with laser sighting, the 41. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is what you see here. Please don't shoot me with a Spaz 12 for point blank range. <laughs> Boy, do I ever love being a gun shop owner in 1984 serving the actor Arnold Schwarzenegger. And from the assault rifles to the SMGs to the shotguns to the battle rifles, plenty of terrific choices. Skeet shooting with a suppressed Mossberg? Count me in. Does anybody have a lot of points right now? What? Skeet what? Shooting? Clay Pigeon, Mickey, shut up. But let's be real. There comes a point where zombies are so maniacally belligerent and numerous. All oh, humans oh, are oh, vermin oh, in the oh, eyes oh, of Morbo. Oh, oh. You're gonna be begging for more firepower. Enter the heavy weapons. I have a solution for this. <laughs> Why is the solution always explosives? Yes. These are your ace in the hole. These are your trap cars. These are your I see zombies and I don't want to fulfillment tool. And although their ammo is limited, they are devastating. Some of them explode like an AT4. The AT4 is the only acceptable home defense weapon. Come on. I will never get over these hordes, dude. This, <clears throat> what horde? Some of them churn lead out of drum mags the size of truck tires like the Fostech shoddy. Ew. You can't tell me that this isn't just the ultimate form of a super soaker. And some of them do both of those things. By the way, this is a 50 cal explosive round, so not getting through there. Guaranteed. Nobody beats the brick! Alright, don't worry. I got the bear. Don't worry oh about it, Judd. Here, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just make a 50 cal perimeter around oh, Ant so that oh, nobody God. can hit him. Yeah, I think I can see why those 50 BMG are banned at my range. You didn't say anything about 50 BMG incendiary. Do you think an MG42 is cooler than an MG5? But since these are explosive tip rounds, I'd rather have the MG5. Like, it would take one jam of an MG42 to blow my face off. You could always dispense with the subtle tactics and grab a chainsaw or a flamethrower when bullets just won't cut it. This may not be Texas, but this is definitely a massacre. You're all gonna burn in hell, but I'm gonna burn you in holy fire first. Ain't none of you spared. If you wanna hang out, you gotta take her out. Propane. Goddamn propane and propane accessories. Yet even with all those choices, including my beloved AT4, M32 trumps all because its combination of a devastating explosion and the sustained fire of 15 plus rounds makes it a hoarder racer. Not to mention it goes. Dump, 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 dump. Yes, yes, just thump the base. Oh yeah, I have a solution for this, Chad. Do not worry. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna be surviving that one. Primary weapons, secondary weapons, heavy weapons. Time for the final tier, stationary weapons. Picture heavy weapons with cracked damage output, but only use when the massive horde is headed your way. So if you wanna pump some mortars down range, now's your chance. Okay, I'm going. Let's see it. Oh Woo! my god, bullseye. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. What the bumper cars? <laughs> bumper cars. Oh my god, I love that meme, <laughs> Evan. <laughs> 
fucking stupid Gmod on me. Yes, oh, hell to whom yeah. it may concern. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, to whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. My Her, God. My last yes. email. Yes. Most fun has to be the Mark 250 Cal. It may not be a perfectly authentic version given the rate of fire and the fact that it never jams, but if all you O331s out there can avoid having an aneurysm over the realism, it is an apocalyptic lawnmower nightmare. All right, you boys on the 50 point blank. Oh, it works. Oh, it definitely works. What part of this is a box magazine do these idiots not get? Like, even if I was infected, I still feel like I wouldn't run towards the browning. It's got the fire rate of a saw, but it hits like a 50 cal. I'm on the 50 again. Guard me. All right, all right, we'll guard you. The M2 in this game really is just the most dominant weapon this thing is. It's hard to believe that it's like 100 years old now. It's so weird. Stop trying to crowd surf at the Kendrick concert. You're not getting up here. <laughs> it is a box magazine. Hey, bro, you weigh 450 pounds. You ain't crowd surfing. Most useful has to be the voltage grid. It's just an electric fence on the ground, but it's the ultimate flank coverage against even the beefiest of meat bags. Bubble. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God for that electrical Jesus. grid. Spoiler! You Come won't here, get through that electric oh fence, Mr. Bull. <laughs> God. Yeah, you dumb idiot. And now that you know everything you'll be using over the course of a round, it's time to upgrade. Check out your weapons with greater damage, suppressors, increased mag sizes, and so on. It's fairly rigid and linear as to what you can improve, but I don't really need to Barbie my shit out in a third-person shooter that already has plenty of weapon variety. And if Barbie is what you're looking for, do it with perks because they can truly offer augment your experience. Get rewarded with a C4. After killing 15 zombies in rapid succession, jack up your reload speed with shotguns as a Hellraiser. Even start the round with a thumper instead of a 1911. You'll figure it out. Hey, Clue, I'm just gonna like spray as many dudes down as I can so I can get that C4 back. There you go. And then, that is just perfection. By the way, check out my reload with my auto loader. Come here. Once I have the perk, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I keep I keep that magazine full. Catch me topped up, son. Walk in a straight line slowly. Yes! I'll help you out. <laughs> oh, oh it sidens you a little bit. You stupid idiot. You need a sidearm that shoots actual bullets. You can't just use a pump. Maybe even swap out your C4 for claymores. Not that I prefer claymores, but against bulls, my favorite enemy in the game, except no substitutes. Holy shit! Here, I'll get up with a claymore. Watch this, Heavenly. Oh yeah, I got that. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh wait, wait! I do got it! I got it! Quick, do it quick. Yes! <laughs> Aggressive claymores are the best strats. <laughs> fuck you guys! Here, I'm putting down the claymore. Don't get claymore. You. Look at that one dude, that's so fucked up. I don't know, man. There's just something so comical about how strong yet how dumb the bulls are that makes them the most endearing enemy in the entire game. Oh, there's a bull right next to us, Badger. Yeah, I'll get him. Oh, oh never mind, he just tripped. Oh, so oh, look at this bull. I once had a dog and his name was... Bingo. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Bingo, there we go. That one worked that time. Yo, that's a bull, by the way, that's a bull. Oh, he's about to, he's about to stampede. Oh. Oh my word! Wow. He, don't worry, he's just he's sleeping. Out a banana. Wow. <laughs> you better split like a banana before you get dog. folded like an omelet, gamer. <laughs> no, let you're him get fine. you. Wait, yeah, wait I don't have fine. a claymore. Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what was that? Oh, the no, 50, 50 cal. cal. The explosive 50 cal. Okay. Damn, dude did the fucking cartwheel <laughs> in the air. Bombers are a close second with how randomly they pop up and the fact that they've got gamer goggles on. Yeah! Oh, that's a bomber. Oh no, my so god, we got a we got a boomer. We got a boomer. I don't know what's more disgusting that the zombie has a bomb vest or that it has panoramic night vision at the same time. Hey, bro, it's daytime. Shut the fuck up, bro. I'm an operator. Oh my god, that's the dude that we're supposed to defuse. Yo, exploder, <laughs> shoot the exploder in the legs, don't- Oh, you oh. Okay, you wanna shoot- And who knows, if you're a shitter that's dragging your team down, maybe you'll even turn into an enemy. I'm a zombie now. I'm gonna kill you, by the way. 
You have like a few try, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they, they were shooting you throughout the oh whole animation. Oh my god. Yeah, I like to see you try, bro. No matter who you're up against, or what your loadout, or what your upgrades, the ultimate upgrade is buddies to play with. If you don't have three homies in your squad, you're doing it wrong. Why does Pasta <laughs> either sound like there is a crocodile in his room? I might just shit. throw a crocodile in Pasta's room or something. As my liaison to the colony of Florida. Or he's just Stone Cold Steve Austin for the day. He has that whole Hollered out like, can I get a hell yeah? If you really like busting zombie heads, let me get a hell yeah. <laughs> yes, let me get like, a hell it's yeah. so hollowed out. It's not like the brother of like a Hulk Hogan. It's like a hollowed out <laughs> hell yeah. It's like an enthusiastic <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Can I get a hell yeah? Chat, what's responsible for more gains? Anabolic steroids, psychotic pre workout, or disturbed the band? Disturbed. 100% disturbed. The fuck? Disturbed is like a performance enhancing drug and it's responsible for more gains than anything else on planet Earth. Uh oh, is this the beginning of a disturbed song? Are we listening to Indestructible? Yeah, but look, you have to also factor. Most of the people who are listening to Disturbed at the gym are also doing steroids. <laughs> <laughs> That's as long as you remember that friendly fire is on. So only put people on your team that you trust not to jack you up with blue on blue. Heavenly, what if Take Keith didn't want to fuck anybody up this whole time? He never did. He was just put into a situation he didn't want to be in. What if Young Metro actually does trust you? <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a place to start, my two favorite missions are Marseille number two and Jerusalem number three because launching missiles and the Hammer of Dawn is peak World War Z. Fine, I'm eyeballing it. Fuck you. I'm gonna hit it too. What? Nah, you're off. No, you gotta no, go no. down to the left. Well, doors closed. <laughs> Bring up. How long do you need? Oh! <laughs> They have the what? hammer of dawn. What the fuck is the orbital strike like a recent development? Oh, Where does yes. that even come from? How are you putting things in space with half the world of zombies, bro? Making an orbital weapon. <laughs> How the uh, Hammer of Dawn was made. And overall, it's a fucking blast. So I recommend you check it out. Dude, how he staying on 10 perg, Bing? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and there you have it. Now you can rest assured that if there was ever a zombie apocalypse, each and every one of us would die to friendly fire. A hundred percent. Who knew that the greatest threat to us would never, ever, ever be the zombies. It would always just be us. Thank you once again to World War Z for sponsoring the video. You can check out the game down below and don't forget to use my Epic Games Supporter Creator code if you do end up picking it up. And be sure to tune in next time when I beg the developer to add a wood chipper.